Dear students, my name is Niyati Sayit and thanks for watching Edupedia Word videos. My topic for the presentation is the 13th section of the chapter Structural Organization in Animals. We will be studying about the circulatory system in frogs. Okay, so uh, circulatory system is of two types which are those blood vascular system and lymphatic system. Now the blood vascular system consists of heart, blood vessels and blood whereas lymphatic system consists of lymph, lymph channels and lymph nodes. So we will be studying in this presentation about the circulatory system in frogs. Okay. So this is the anatomy of the frog's heart. The vascular system of frog is very well developed close type. Frogs have a lymphatic system also as I have told you that they have blood vascular system also and a lymphatic system also. So the frog they have a lymphatic system also and the blood vascular system it involves heart blood vessels and blood whereas lymphatic system consists of lymph lymph channel and lymph node what I have taught you just now okay now heart is a muscular structure situated in the upper part of the body cavity it has three chambers I'm talking about the frog's heart it has three chambers two auricle and one ventricle and is covered by a membrane called pericardium okay this is the membrane which is known as pericardium okay uh, so uh, as I have told you that uh, if you look at the diagram of the frog circulatory system you will notice that the heart is differentiated uh, than our heart that means that uh, that from the human's heart it has two auricles and a single ventricle and it makes uh, it have a total of three chambers and uh, that is two auricle and one ventricle okay now the deoxygenated blood is sent to the auricle from the various organs in the frog's body through blood vessels and veins. Okay? Am I clear? Am I am again repeating that the deoxygenated blood is sent to the auricle. As you can see, this is the auricle, left auricle. So all the deoxygenated blood is sent to the auricle from various organs in the frog body through blood vessels and veins. This is the blood which is being drained from organs. Thus, it starts the cleaning process, cleansing process. And then, the oxygenated blood then comes from the lungs and skins and enters the left auricle. Okay, And this also serves as a gaseous exchange in most of the amphibians. Okay, And please note that uh, as we uh, know that it has two auricles left auricle and right auricle and only one ventricle is there see this is only one ventricle so of course it is uh, different from that of uh, human circulatory system because human circulatory system has two auricles and two ventricles whereas in frogs uh, they have uh, two auricles left auricle and right auricle and only one ventricle okay so both the auricle that means left auricle and right auricle so they dump their blood into a single ventricle this is ventricle okay this one is our ventricle and uh, uh, it it has uh, this ventricle it is internally divided into two narrowly separated chambers okay which is not visible from outside but yes the ventricle is divided into two narrowly separated chambers which clearly uh, reduces the mixing of oxygenated and deoxygenated blood together okay the ventricle it contracts and sends oxygenated blood to the brain from the left ventricle that means from the uh, 
left ventricle which is which is of course not visible from outside okay this is an almost pure blood that reaches the brain the skin and the lungs they receive nearly pure blood from the right auricle through pulmocutaneous arteries okay through pulmocutaneous arteries this is this is it from which the uh, skin and the lungs they receive nearly pure blood from this uh, artery that is right pulmocutaneous arc or arteries from the skin and the lungs fresh oxygen can be picked up okay the blood that passes through the auretic arches is very mixed up but it still has a lot of oxygen in it there is enough to supply the rest of the body what it needs okay now uh, i have a i have an interesting note to make that both the gaseous exchange organs and the interior tissue of the body get their blood under full pressure okay Uh, no before the function of the frog i would like to tell you one thing frog's heart is covered with a membrane which we call it as pericardium okay a triangular structure called sinus venosus okay sinus venosus this is sinus venosus the triangle shaped it joins the right auricle okay it joins the uh right auricle and it receives blood through a major vein called vena cava vena cava is the one that receives uh, that that uh, sends the blood okay the ventricle it opens into a sac like conus arteriosus okay there is a pouch like a structure which uh, we call it as um, a conus arteriosus so ventricle it opens into a sac like structure which we call it as conus arteriosus on the ventral side of the heart which is uh, not visible in this diagram okay because it is present on the ventral side the blood from the heart is carried to all parts of the body by arteries that means by the arterial system the veins they collect blood from the different parts of the body to the heart and form the venous system a special venous connection between liver of the frog and the intestine of the frog as well as the kidney of the frog are present in the frogs the former is called as hepatic portal system whereas the latter that means the one which is related with the kidney is known as renal portal system the blood is composed of plasma and cells i am talking about the frog's blood that the blood of the frog is composed of plasma and cells the blood cells are rbcs that means erythrocytes which we call it as red blood cells wbc that is white blood cells and we also call it as leukocytes and platelets RBCs are nucleated unlike human RBC our RBCs are enucleated that means it is devoid of nucleus whereas the frogs RBCs are nucleated and they contain red colored pigment namely hemoglobin as i have told you that the frog also have lymphatic system so the lymph is different from blood it lacks few uh, proteins and rbcs the blood it carries nutrients gases and water to the respective sites during circulation the circulation of blood is achieved by pumping action of the muscular heart okay now we'll be studying about the functions of the frog heart as i have told you that the heart of the frog is a pumping organ of the circulatory system and it has three chambers two auricle and one ventricle i have shown you vena cava also uh, it is the largest vein that carries blood from the interior part of the body towards the heart okay and then comes posterior vena cava that means it has two vena cavas anterior and the posterior 
Interior that means it carries blood from the anterior part of the body, whereas the posterior means the vein that carries uh, blood from the posterior part of the body towards the heart. Okay, and then sinus uh, venous, that is a sac that receives blood from the vena cava. Okay, from both the vena cavas, anterior as well as posterior, and then comes. Right auricle. Right auricle is the chamber of the frog's heart which receives blood from the sinus venous. Sinus venous is the sac, remember? And then comes left auricle. See, auricle and atrium, they both are same. So don't get confused with it. Left auricle is the chamber of the heart that receives blood from the lungs. And then comes pulmonary veins. The blood vessels that carry blood from the lungs to the left auricle. And then comes ventricle because frog heart consists of two auricles that is left auricle and right uh, auricle and only one ventricle. So the chamber of the frog heart that pumps blood out of the heart to the lungs and the other part of the body. Then comes truncus arteriosus so this is the largest artery in a frog that carries blood away from the ventricle into the branches that lead to all parts of the body that means truncus arteriosus is the artery that provides blood to all part of the body from ventricle that means it takes away uh, it takes uh, blood away from the ventricle into the branches. Okay. Now the vascular system of the frog consists of blood vascular system and lymphatic system as I have already taught you. And the blood vascular system it consists of heart, blood vessels and blood while lymphatic system consists of lymph, lymph channel and lymph node. I have told you that uh, RBCs unlike uh, that of humans it is nucleated that means humans uh, RBC are enucleated in nature right but the frogs RBC they are in uh, sorry nucleated one so the blood consists of plasma RBC and WBC and platelets while lymph lacks red blood cells and few proteins okay and as the heart beats blood circulates various substances such as gases nutrients and hormones to different part of the body okay now we'll uh, give a short summary uh, that the circulatory system of uh, frog is uh, well developed close time and heart is divided into three chambers two auricle and one ventricle which is covered by peri Cardium. It is a triangular structure called sinus or, uh, venous that joins the right auricle and it receives blood through major veins which we call it as vena cava. Okay, And there are two types of vena cava, anterior and the posterior vena cava. Now the ventricle as I have told you it has only one ventricle and two auricle so the ventricle it opens into a sac like conus arteriosus on the ventral side of the heart of course conus arteriosus is present on the ventral side of the heart so it is not visible in the diagram but yes conus arteriosus is uh, attached with the ventricle and it is sac like in nature and that receives uh, blood from the ventricle blood from heart it reaches to arteries which we call it as arterial system and then it reaches to the body parts several body parts and then it goes into the uh, venous system that means all veins of the frog makes a venous system of a frog so uh, from the body part uh, the deoxygenated blood uh, is collected by the veins and uh, then it goes into the heart Now, um, hepat there are two types of uh, system. I have told you that uh, hepatic portal system and renal portal system. Uh, 
So the hepatic portal system is a, a venous connection. That means it is connection which is made by veins. So the hepatic portal system is a venous uh, connection between liver and intestine and uh, on the contrary to this renal postal system is a connection which is made between kidney and the lower part of the body okay so there are two types of uh, portal system which is found in frogs hepatic portal system and renal portal system now blood blood is formed of plasma and cells rbc wbc and platelets Unlike uh, human RBC, they are nucleated, that means they have nucleus and they contain hemoglobin. Uh, I have told you that they have lymphatic system also, so the lymph, they lack few proteins and RBC. And blood circulation is achieved by pumping action of the muscular heart. So this was all about the circulatory system of the frogs. Thank you and stay tuned.